All right, y'all, I'm really about to hurt some feelings with this. So if you're sensitive, if you can't take constructive criticism, then I highly, highly, highly suggest you go ahead and swipe off of this reel because we're about to get into the truth. A lot of you guys talk about how you want to lose weight, how you want to be a better version of yourself, but yet your actions don't align with that. Y'all, a lot of y'all are looking for like a fast and easy way to get it done. Like y'all be going on these crazy ass diets, these water diets, these cleanses, like y'all just be going crazy with this stuff. And it's like, okay, you trying to lose 20 pounds for your vacation or for your birthday or whatever, but what you gonna do when that event is over? You just gonna gain all the weight back? Like you just not gonna care no more? You don't care about your weight? You don't care about your health anymore? Like that shit is so crazy to me. This is not a quick fix. Nothing that I've done, nothing that y'all have seen me done is a fad. This is really how I live my life. I'm really a vegan. <laughs> like I really work out every other day. Like I do six days a week. I'm not playing with you guys. Of course I'm gonna have days where you know, I might cheat a little bit here, cheat a little bit there. And what I mean by cheat is I may have, you know, some vegan cookies or I might indulge in some in some um, chips or whatever. I, you know, I like my snacks too from time to time. Everything I eat is not always fruits and vegetables. Of course, I do have my junk food vegan stuff. But what I will say is I'm way more consistent and I eat way more better than the days that I don't. Does that make sense? Did I said that right? Like, <laughs> let me know down in the comments if I confused you. But seriously, like, you can't, you can't cheat your way out of a bad diet. Like, you can do all the exercise in the world. But, and we gonna get into that too when it comes to y'all's exercising because I be seeing y'all in the gym. But you can't, you can't do all the exercise in the world and then you gonna lose all this weight. But yet, when you in the kitchen, sis, you still eating fried food. Like, that shit don't break you out. When I was eating bad, like, I used to have zits and shit all over my fucking face. Like, fried food just never agreed with me. Then a lot of y'all be killing me <laughs> with this damn Diet Pepsi, Diet Sprite, Diet Dr. Pepper. Sis, that shit is horrible for you. I don't care if it says zero calories. Like, you're not supposed to be eating that. You're not supposed to be drinking that. Like, none of that stuff is good for you. Then you go to Chick-fil-A, you gotta get the... Chick-fil-A sandwich with the Chick-fil-A sauce. You gotta get the large fry. You gotta get the milkshake. Like, and I'm not, I'm not really trying to talk down on y'all because I used to be the same way. If y'all seen my before pictures, my before videos, y'all know I was fat as hell with a capital F-A-T. <laughs> like, I was fat as fuck, okay? So don't think that I'm trying to come down on y'all, but what I'm gonna say is you can't outdo a bad diet. And what I want to talk about when it comes to the gym, I've been seeing a lot of y'all women come in there especially. Y'all be looking all cute or whatever. Got your wigs on, got that tied down. And I used to love me a frontal wig, child. I used to stay slayed, okay? Check my videos. I used to stay slayed. I get it. But y'all be having y'all wigs. Y'all be having them lashes. Y'all be having them long ass nails. Y'all gonna get on the treadmill. Y'all gonna get on the elliptical for about 20 minutes. On your phone, I see y'all doing this. While you, you know, you, you working it out or whatever, you working it out. And only be on there for 20 minutes, bitch, you ain't even break a sweat. Your, your wig's still intact. Now, I'm trying to figure out how you do that because that glue come up. So, how do you do that? It's because you're not really working out. You probably only burned about 200 calories, but for lunch earlier, you ate 1,000 calories because you went to McDonald's. Do you see what I'm saying? The math is not mathing. So all I can say to you guys is y'all have to change y'all's mindset. Y'all got to get out of the mindset that everything is quick, 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 quick. We live in a society where we have to have it right now. Girls out here getting weight loss surgery, and I'm not knocking none of that. But at the end of the day, that doesn't teach you how to have self-control. It doesn't teach you delayed gratification. Like, you understand how difficult and challenging it is to go to the gym every single day. And for a whole month, you only see little small changes here or there. But you keep going because you know that eventually, if you do this for a year, if you do this for two years, five years, you are going to love your results. A lot of people don't know anything about delayed gratification. Everybody wants stuff right now right now right now but that's not teaching you nothing that's not teaching you anything that's why so many people get the weight loss surgery and still gain all their weight back because they haven't fixed their mindset you get what i'm saying you have to fix your mindset 
this fitness journey that I'm on, this vegan journey, this is a lifestyle change. I'm not switching up for nobody. So five years from now, I'm gonna still be doing the same thing. You get what I'm saying? I didn't just do this for a vacation or because my birthday coming up and I gotta be looking sexy and right. This is, that's not what this is. This is for me to change my life so I can live a better and healthier life, okay? And I love you guys commenting. I love you guys messaging me, but I'm just letting y'all know like this shit is hard. It's hard, especially because I came from a family where unhealthy eating was like normal like everyone in my family is big so i just want y'all to understand that and really just try to get into the mindset that this is going to be hard this was definitely like the hardest thing that i've ever done like i'm not even bullshitting y'all this is definitely the hardest thing i've ever done